finding the Filipino voice around the world listed is back at it again, folks. Fresh new episode, fresh new artists, and a lot of other fresh things. Watch till the end of the episode if you want to get a cool prize. Get a cool prize. Listed. That's right. Who are we? We are Illustrator Magazine and we operate under the motto Taas no Filipino, the Filipino on top. And here I listed, listed is by far an extension of that motto. What do we do? Simple. We find the Filipino voice from across the world. Here we're gonna see a lot of cool artists, dancers, and other forms of talent. But before I get on with our episode, I might as well introduce myself. My name is Paulo Gabriel Benitez. I've been working with Illustrator for a while now. And I'll be your host and gener Generation Z representative for the show, everybody. But before I start, I want to give a quick shout out to our sponsors, Giver and Wokio. Need something? Don't buy, get it free instead. Welcome to Giver. Everything is free. Just pay delivery. Have useful stuff gathering dust in your closet? Don't trash it. Give it away. Just good old giving and taking. Made easy for you. That's good for the heart. And good for the planet. Giver. Your friendly marketplace for sharing. Give and take for a better world. We're rolling. Okay, we're rolling. I can't hold this face too long. My cheeks already hurting. Now, before I go on with the show, I might as well tell you what our sponsors are. And be sure to physically abuse that subscribe button, that like button, and that share button so you can hear more of mine sexy voice. <laughs> I'm just kidding y'all. So anyway, Wokyo is our friendly noodle bar in GLT. We've been friends with these guys for such a long time. I've been a loyal customer for almost three, almost four years now. Think about that ladies and gentlemen. That's right. If you're in the mood for some dope pan-Asian flavor and awesome noodles, be sure to check them out. Wokyo JLT. And before I move on, I'm gonna talk about Giver, your friendly marketplace for sharing. Now, many People think about donating or probably selling their second-hand items at places like thrift shops or even donating them to charity. But what if you think that you have a second-hand item that might have some better use in the hands of someone else? And that's where Giver comes in. Folks, it's an online platform where you literally just upload and share all of your second-hand goods. Need I say more? I don't think so. Kicking off our playlist, we have the very up-and-coming and very talented Joseph Gregory and Selena Macana. Check out their song, Running. We shouldn't be wondering why We're not on the same page no more Maybe we never were You've always been the type of guy Who knows what he's looking for Was it not that girl? Thought I knew you, boy I've seen it coming, made you my world, boy F***ed up and now you're running, you're running away You're running away from love, you're running away You're running away from us, you're running away But do you have a place to run to, can't you see that? You're running away from you Inside my world And you were always there to see What I couldn't find 
Honestly, I did not expect that from a bunch of Filipino artists because if you think about Filipino music, we're probably doing folk, we're probably doing country, we're probably doing rock, but never will you ever hear EDM from the Philippines in the mainstream. In fact, EDM in this genre, I think we consider this as chill hop. Joseph, you better correct me on this one, huh? So before I move on to our next song, I want to talk a little bit about our artists. They're actually quite young, you know, I'm 21 and I think these people are actually younger than me. So think about it, we might just be featuring a bunch of kids on the show, eventually or right now, as we speak. So thankfully we live in an age where modern technology makes everything easier. Anybody can be anything that they want, and these two are no exception to that. Joseph Marasingan and Selena Pacana are both students of UP Diliman. Joseph is a songwriter, producer, and he's classically trained in piano as well. He also plays guitars, bass, and drums. Selena here, on the other hand, grew up with a musically oriented family. When she was younger, she poured her heart and soul out into theater and now focuses on R&B. Now, like I said, modern technology makes everything easier. Anybody can be a DJ, anybody can be a producer, anybody can make their own videos, anybody can get famous, myself included. All you just need are a camera or a nice instrument and a recorder, some nice software to work with, and then boom, you're instantly guaranteed to get fame. If you work hard enough, that is. <laughs> now, our next artist here is only 18 years old, and he is what you call a bedroom DJ. Give it up for Match. Oh, 
super awesome and match is no exception to that rule he's another one of our young bloods match aka mitch is just an 18 year old bedroom producer from paranyake a bedroom dj now a bedroom dj is an underground term we get to djs that don't necessarily have the platform or the place to be in to produce their music thus they produce in their bedroom it is an underground term and uh, they produce the music within the confines of their homes and not registered under any labels. That was the part that I missed. <laughs> Match began producing in 2014, borrowing inspiration from EDM and learning off YouTube because, after all, we are the YouTube generation, right? He began learning off YouTube and now he works with many famous singers in the Philippines and producers too, and now he is making waves with the rest of the independent scene. Now, remember how I said uh, you can get your hands on a really cool prize before the end of our show, or perhaps at the end? Well, I'm just kidding. Ladies and gentlemen, I have two... Two Wokyo vouchers that I'm gonna be giving away to you, and... One second. 
I have two Wokyo vouchers that I'm going to be giving away to you folks. But there's a catch. This is going to be a little competition, ladies and gentlemen, but don't worry. Rest assured, you're not going to be doing anything physical yet. I want to hear some of your juiciest confessions. In the comment section below right now, I want you to tell me some of your juiciest ever confessions and secrets. And please, don't mention any names. We're doing this all in the name of anonymity. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, two of your juiciest giveaways. And I will be giving two vouchers to two separate winners. Uh, two separate winners? No. <laughs> Just kidding, ladies and gentlemen. I know I started there. Hey, come on, we're all human. I know Ramadan's ended, but I'm still freaking hungry right now. I think if there is no, it's already past Eid. What am I saying? Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna be selecting two lucky winners to win a, va a voucher worth 100 from Okyo, and that can get you at least two meals. So. Ladies and gentlemen, if you have a very special someone that you need to take out, hint, hint, mm, wink, 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 for some awesome noodles, be sure to enter your juiciest secrets and whatever the heck you want to tell me soon. And now I'm going to move on to our next artist. Oh god, I am so awkward today. I think it's the lack of water I'm having in my diet. Now, you guys remember Isa and Igo? That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Isabel and Inigo Ferraz are back at it with another song again. Tune into your nostalgia and just think of a Friday afternoon back in the province. This is Friday Afternoon Drive. Haunting me from day to day When you were here, we were staying on the ways That could end up leading everything of truth or a better day I hope that one day I can see you next After seeing all the problems, girl, I wish you the best Hey, yeah, yeah Friday afternoon drive What's good with I don't see you on my right side Feeling lonely when you don't think with the right mind Say maybe this is how it feels in the wrong time Hey, yeah, what it do? Used to ride it every day to Friday afternoon Wondering maybe the show the one for me Cause I really felt the vibe on how you come up to me Hey, yeah, I guess we've changed for the better or the worse. Kept switching lanes, can't remember all the days that we've patched our pain. All the markers on the hearts with all a bunch of stains. Yeah, uh, uh, this Friday afternoon got me thinking again. Continue moving on and just really be friends. Cause I want you, but I will let you decide. You know, we could really use a I've 
I've been really left alone by my own And I guess it's pretty senseless Talking to myself like I'm kinda helpless Thinking about you, what I did was really careless And yeah, uh-huh, you know me Troublemaking everywhere, I guess that you can see How you changed me, yeah, from what I was Lately making all the things that kinda makes me lost, yeah uh, I guess I'm pulling up on you Get you back and I was trying to make it good for you Believe me that I will really set the mood for you Really get a groove for you Give you all the things in the right side Looking at you from the left side Friday afternoon drive till we set the mood right Bring it back cause we really need to lose Pride time to ride cause we need to get a good slide Having you around is something else hey, yeah. I can't believe I got you Shawnee. Crazy how it's pretty Ladies and gentlemen, Isabel and Inigo Ferraz, two classically trained musicians who have been making waves in the indie Filipino pop scene. And this is their latest video, Friday Afternoon Drive, with Marciano, the rapper. Pretty cool rhymes and verses. Check it out, ladies and gentlemen. Now, Friday Afternoon Drive is just one of those songs that just makes you want to sit back, you know, have a glass of iced tea and just chill under the sun. Speaking of which, Oi, Antonino! Do we have any plans for the weekend? It's Wednesday. I own nga pala, it's Wednesday, no? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is midweek madness right now. I'm telling you, not only am I dehydrated, but I am also out of time and out of space. The week actually begins here in Dubai on Sundays and ends on Thursdays, while in the Philippines it goes from Mondays to Fridays, am I right? Yes. Now, ladies and gentlemen, as you all know, I am a third culture kid, meaning I grew up away from the Philippines. I grew up around a lot of Westerners, in fact. That's why I am so good at English and not really the best at Tagalog. Well, I have a friend who can just help me out with that. You've heard him last episode. He is our little Pakganern Ganern friend. Hello. Ito, si Sir Richard. Ah, tako. Oh, kumusta? Okay lang po, Sir Pado. Okay lang. So, what are you going to be teaching me today? Ah, ang word is today, kung natin ngayon ay Lodi ka, Pitman. Lodi, Pitman, Lu? Ang Lodi po, ang Lodi po ay binaligtad lang po na salita na idol. Ah, idol! Oo, binaligtad lang po talaga. Okay. So like killing it, huh? Hey, I'm not very good at basketball, Sir Richard. Hey, salamat. Yan lang. So for example, for example, Richard, you are my idol. So Richard, Lodi, woo, like that. 
Okay, maraming salamat Sir Richard. Have a good day. Enjoy your weekend. Salamat Richard. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen. That was my best friend Richard, ladies and gentlemen, check him out. He is really good at acting in character and just generally acting pretty awkward. He's only second to me at all of that though, of course. Now I'll be moving on to our next song and our first featured artist of the day. Has anybody heard of Kuya Mark or Mark Redito? He's the founder behind the Likido Festival in the Philippines. You've seen his latest song, Cloud Press, uh, Cloud Keep with Happy Press on our last episode, but now he's back with another song. Mark Redito is a Pinoy EDM artist based in California with a unique style that can be described as a blend between J-pop, EDM, and many more of the new wave genres. This song was inspired by the crucial moments in his life and tells him a very special story as well as all the audience. Check it out, everybody. just one of the most beautiful songs that I have ever heard. And you know what makes a song beautiful is not the, ne the general dynamic of the song. It's not how layered the instruments are, but rather the story that one puts into it. This song was inspired by Mark Redito's crucial moments in life, the moments that make life beautiful. It describes his journey from growing up in the Philippines, moving to the USA, and turning his passion into art. And through thick and thin, his beloved sister was always by his side. It's a story of love, luck, and persistence. And the end result is a beautiful song that invokes nostalgia and feeling. And you know, speaking of nostalgia, I'm pretty sure we all have a lot of nostalgic moments now. I think that song triggered that. 
You know, the Philippines has one of the largest diasporas in the world. Over 10 million of us live abroad, and quite a sizable portion actually live here in the Middle East. And we often find ourselves reminiscing all these little things about our childhood and whatever we miss about home. I don't know about you, but for me, even though I didn't grow up in the Philippines, I still look towards it as my home. I'm still proud to call it my home. You know, when I would spend the summer in Bulacan, I would spend most of my time binge drinking Yakult because it was so cheap there and playing with plastic balloons, eating eggnog and whatnot. And occasionally I would steal CD O Carne Norte from my Lola Sari Sari store in Taguig. Now, I have a story from an anonymous sender, actually. And this is a story about his or her interesting childhood. Dear Paolo, have you ever been addicted to fish balls so much that you actually spent all of your money instead of buying a ride home? That just so happened to be the case. This person here loved fish balls so much that at the end of the day, she spent so much on the fish balls that she forgot to pay for her ride home. And when the bus driver came back to her school to find her crying there, calling out for her mother, she didn't know what to do. So when I found the bus driver there at the end of the playground, I started to fake crying. I knew that I had been too guilty <laughs> buying fish balls and that I couldn't find a better excuse to tell my parents that I'd be home late. So what did I do? I took the ketchup, I threw it on my skirt, the bus driver came to me, he asked, What's What's wrong? I don't know about you, and thank you for sharing us that lovely story, whoever you are. Me, personally, I'm more of a quick, quick person, you know? And one thing I actually didn't miss out on that I forgot to tell you is that when I was in the Philippines, we had no access to cable TV, we did not have access to all those big, hard-hitting radio stations that you hear in Manila. Instead, I was stuck with the countryside radio in Bulacan, listening to a lot of R&B back then. Speaking of r and I'm pretty sure you'll be reminded of the early 2000s before the 2010s came in. You know, when all that r and and trap music was just starting to surface, and for a while you had that little silver lining that was just so amazing. Check this out everybody, here's another up-and-coming artist, his name, Jordan Gregory. This is Colt, ladies and gentlemen. Like 
perfect Yeah, I love all the things you do I just wanna be next to you We're rolling. Huh. Yeah, I do not look good taking selfies at this angle. You know, I remember when selfies were invented back then. They were invented somewhere in my preteen days. Well, the term got popularized by then. And something like this, a song like this by Colt, is something exactly I would listen to back then. You know, when I was 12, 13, I had my first crush. I'd cry every night. Because she rejected me. <laughs> One of those anyway, you know. It sounds like something I grew up listening to in my high school, only remastered and a lot better. Thanks for that, Jordan. So, how many of y'all remember MySpace? I bet you there are a couple of people in the audience right now who are asking what MySpace is. Ladies and gentlemen, this new generation is lost. They do not know what MySpace is. They do not know what VCR is and record and vinyl is and all of that. Anyway, MySpace was one of the earliest examples of social media. And this is where Colt actually started pursuing music. He began pursuing music back on MySpace under the name Digital Ghost. And in a time where musicians and producers shared their skills through social media, all might have seemed lost. But thankfully, we have Facebook, we have SoundCloud, we have Instagram, and all these other awesome social media platforms where we can promote ourselves and get instant fame, just like that. Honing his craft over the years, he emerged once again under the name Colt, combining his passion for R&B with rap and hip-hop. One of the new waves of artists, ladies and gentlemen, and he is going strong. Our next artist is an illustrator based in Brooklyn, Hannah ACBD. ACBD? How can you go ABCD? Well, anyway, Hannah combines R&B, synth pop, and electronic music in order to bring her own unique blend of trippiness and emotion. Check this out. This is Trustfall. See my mom. 
industry is still quite super young. Not many artists make it out with such a distinct flavor and unique approach to music and the performance arts. I want to give a shout out to some of the up and coming talents out there. These are the dancers, the underground heroes, the black sheep, and up and coming performers in Dubai. And here's a sneak peek of what's to come out in the underground. We're gonna start out with a very young talent. He's my little, in a way, my little bro, if you Think about it, he keeps calling me Kuya, and you know how we do that thing where we just call everybody in the community Kuya, Ate, never Lolo or Lola though because we're gonna get snapped in the face for calling our friends too old. <laughs> you know what I mean, right? So check this out, he is a multi-talented performance artist, all-around singer, actor, and dancer. And he, at a very young age, he has already accomplished so much compared to so many other people out there. Check out Ian Chris Tokle. I said that right. Yo, what is up guys? It's Ian Christoffle and I'm one of the young aspiring performers here in Dubai. I love to sing, dance, cosplay, commercial modeling, and also compose and produce music. I also like to play the instruments such as the violin, piano, saxophone and the drums I also like to sing in other languages such as Arabic Hindi Tagalog and Korean Annyeong <laughs> Huge shout out to the Illustrator magazines and thank you so much to Kuya Paolo and Atila Lane for featuring me on the show. And you can find me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, Patreon, and any other social media if you want to get to know more about me or check out my future updates. So, okay guys, see you soon!
I find it really embarrassing to us older generations. Well, I'm not exactly part of the older generation, but kids are surpassing us on so many levels. That is just insane. And the world, as I know it, is gonna be in good hands. Think about it. You have so many kids here who are not even 15 years old and they are already musical prodigies, dancers, and all these other things. By the way, before I move on with the show, if you have any cool shout outs and you want to record some stuff with your friends, do us a favor and do yourselves a favor too for some instant fame. Drop us a little video, a one to two minute recording about telling us who you are, what you do, and shout out to Illustrada and all the Filipinos out there. Just send it to us on our DMs. Same thing goes for our little confession giveaway. Remember guys, I got two vouchers that are up for grabs. Send us your juiciest confessions in the column that relate, the chat column below. And we'll be announcing them on our next episode. Now, fellas, I think you can relate to me. I'm just kidding, I don't know if you can or not. If you follow me on Instagram, all you see me doing are uploading dance videos and the occasional selfie here and there. And now, Dubai isn't exactly synonymous with the word dancers, or so you think. The community is still very underground, but we are coming up from the shadows, everybody. Our biggest competition is coming up. Titan Dance DXB, where you're gonna see some of the crews from the Middle East get together at Burakai Nightclub and battle it out for a spot on top. Now, coming out as a dancer in Dubai might be a bit hard, you know. In this social media generation and the era of peer pressure, it's hard to come out because everybody is just gonna come out and stare at you. You know, I remember going into my first cypher, my first dance battle, and then all of a sudden, Everybody was cheering for my opponent, but because it was my first time and I didn't know everybody, everyone just said, Okay, we're gonna stare at you because we don't know what you are and what you do. The light is too bright on my face. <laughs> my goodness. Ladies and gentlemen, I'll be introducing you to the spokesperson of Titan Dance DXB. This is CL Pro Style. This is a CL Pro Style of DXB Titan's crew. Um, representing Titan Dance, DXB, and Titan Drinks. So yeah, um, now we're gonna have the very first in, in Dubai, like, um, like you know, uh, representing all the underground crews all over Middle East and UAE. Uh, so basically we're choosing four to eight uh, members uh, per crew. And it's an international uh, platform so that we, you know, we can have all different nationalities uh, competing on this one. So yeah. Um, Titan Dance uh, DXB competition is going to be held in Borake Club, Ashana Hotel on July 6. So I want to invite you all to see and witness one of the top crews in all over Middle East uh, competing on one stage. So yeah, um, it's been a blessing to the community because the whole uh, crew, you know, uh, thing in Dubai somehow get low down. And um, But now we're trying to revive the whole scene. So yeah, peace out and God bless you all. See you there. Christopher Lawrence Prostal Trasmanio is Dubai's go-to Filipino dance teacher, break dancer, crumper, and so many other things. And I can tell you that up until now, no one has rivaled his fro and his prowess in growing hair. I tried so myself as well, but I didn't know that afros grow here. Hence, I had to do some landscaping here and there. What is this? I'm getting a message. Ooh. It's from one of our fellow artists, ladies and gentlemen. Isanigo has a fellow shout out for us too. Check it out. Hi, we are Isanigo, a genre fluid duo from Laguna, Philippines. A lot of people have been asking, what is genre fluid? Genre fluid means not having a specific sound. Our music ranges from R&B, hip hop, and even jazz. And you can hear all of this in our upcoming album. You can find our music on Spotify, iTunes, and other online music platforms. And please check out our latest music video of Friday Afternoon Drive, which you can find on our Facebook and YouTube page. Again, we are Isanigo, that's Y-S-A-N-Y-G-O. Please follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Thank you so much to Illustrado for sharing our music. We are so grateful. Maraming salamat. Magkakabababababayan! Yes, mga Filipino! 
I hope you're enjoying the show up until this point. Most of you might be on the ride home by now, so in that case, just sit back, drive safely and put on your seatbelts, of course, and enjoy the music. Now, our last artist of the day and our local spotlight goes to the one and only Cromwell Ojeda. Now, Cromwell Ojeda is a producer and musician based in Dubai. He was a member of the band Verdad and the creative force behind Mohais Nafor. And for those of you who do not know what Mohais Nafor is or how it got its naming convention, it's simple. Mohais Nafor is where Cromwell lived for a large part of his Dubai life. His work projects a futuristic version of Dubai with every aesthetic nailed down in a world where he blends analog and digital. His synth wave is very, very, very reminiscent of a time that many of us probably didn't exist in. Back in a time where synth wave and disco was the thing. Check it out, everybody.
Cromwell Ojeda, ladies and gentlemen, that was Mohaisna 4, Signal, featuring the vocals of Veblen Good from the band Turbo God, another band who we will be featuring very soon. He is characterized by his masterful use of the synths and complex layerings. These things can bring you emotion, nostalgia, and all-around coolness. If you've heard songs like these before, then you are awesome. Or you've probably watched Stranger Things. Shout out to Skundo Project for the awesome graphics and visualizations. And that concludes today's episode of Listed by Illustrado. But before we end, I'd like to send you a quick reminder that if you have any shout outs or juicy confessions, then DM those to us on our Illustrado inbox. And don't forget about our giveaway from Wokyo. Special thanks to our sponsors too, Wokyo and Giver, your friendly marketplace for sharing everybody. I'm gonna run the ads one more time before I peace out. Need something? Don't buy. Get it free instead. Welcome to Giver. Everything is free. Just pay delivery. Have useful stuff gathering dust in your closet? Don't trash it. Give it away. Just good old giving and taking. Made easy for you. That's good for the heart and good for the planet. Giver, your friendly marketplace for sharing. Give and take for a better world. Y'all know the motto, the Asno Filipino. We will shine, we will grind, we will most definitely make it. No matter where you are or what you're doing, you're never too far away from home. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm so glad to have hosted another show for you guys tonight. This is Paolo, the Asno Filipino Illustrator Magazine. Back at it again and coming back to you very soon, signing off. Again. Bye.